how Canada's PNP immigration pathways works. Canada's Provincial Indemnity Program or PNP exists to welcome economic class immigrants to Canada. Under the Immigration Action Levels Plan 2022 to 2024, uh, the PNP is the main economic class immigration program for this year and the next, a while in the previous years, Express Entry has been the main immigration pathway. Almost all the provinces and territories except Nunavut and Quebec operate their own PNPs. Each has at least one immigration stream that is aligned with the express entry system. Uh, the province of Quebec doesn't have a provincial dominant program. See their immigration website to learn more about their programs uh, with a link below this video. In this video, I'm going to share details on how Canada's PNP immigration pathways work. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first time visiting this channel, my name is Ahmad Raza and this is Persia Global. There are two different ways you can immigrate to Canada under the Provincial Dominant Program or PNP. One way is through Express Entry, the other way is through a PNP stream directly. This video is to provide you with an overview of base and enhanced PNP options. For enhanced provincial nomination, most Canadian provinces and territories are able to nominate a certain number of candidates through the experts entry system to meet local and provincial labor market needs. These portions of PNPs are known as enhanced nominations. Uh, you can apply online for this type of PNP through experts entry and candidates in the experts entry pool who obtain a nomination nomination from a province are awarded 600 points under the comprehensive ranking system or CR score out of a possible total of 1,200. When these additional points are added to a candidate's human capital and skills transferability points, it will result in an invitation to apply for permanent residence being issued to the candidates at a subsequent draw from the express entry pool. Depending on the province or territory, candidates uh, eligible to enter the express entry pool may either enter the pool first and then be nominated by a province or territory or be nominated by a province or territory before completing an online express entry profile and entering the express entry pool. In most cases, candidates are required to be in the pool before an application for an enhanced provincial nomination certificate can be made. For base provincial nomination, provinces and territories are able uh, to make nominations under the regular or base PNP streams outside the express entry system. For this type of PNP, you must apply through the paper-based process that I will make another video for a step-by-step -step process. So subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to get informed about the new uh, videos streaming by our channel. Provincial and territorial nominations made outside Express Entry system are subject to particular PNP stream and processing standards. An important point to consider here is that an individual who successfully obtained a base nomination from a province will not be awarded 600 points under the comprehensive ranking system. Yet many candidates who are not eligible for uh, Express Entry may be eligible for a base provincial nomination. So individuals who wish to immigrate to Canada but who may not be eligible to enter the Express Entry pool may still be able to make an application to immigration to Canada through a base PNP stream as long as they are eligible for the particular PNP. Base nomination may therefore provide Canadian immigration opportunities to individuals who are not eligible for express entry. Candidates who receive a base nomination have their application processed outside express entry. The route uh, from a successful base nomination to permanent residence is a two-step process. Candidates must first satisfy the criteria for a PNP stream, apply and receive a nomination certificate. With this certificate, 
in hand, candidates may apply to the federal government, which will oversee the necessary medical and security backgrounds checks before granting permanent resident status. This program is for workers who have the skills, education, and work experience to contribute to the economy of a specific province or territory, and they want to live in that province and want to become a permanent resident of Canada. Each province and territory has its own stream that are uh, immigration program targeting certain groups and also has its own requirements. For example, in a program stream, provinces and territories may target students, business people, skilled workers or semi-skilled workers and even others. To understand the application options in brief and how you will apply, your application depends on which provincial nominee program streams you're applying to. That as I mentioned, there are two types of PNPs enhanced and based. Uh, PNP programs. You might need to apply using the paper-based process for base PNP or by the online process through Express Entry for enhanced PNP. As part of the process, you will have to pass a medical exam and get a police check or certificate. Everyone must have these checks no matter where they plan to live in Canada. For PNP paper-based process, you apply to the province or territory for nomination under a non-express uh, entry stream. Uh, you need to meet the eligibility requirements of the province that nominates you. Once you have been nominated, you submit a paper application application for permanent residence to Immigration, Refugee and Citizenship Canada. You have to pass a medical exam and get a police check as I said or a police certificate. Every uh, one must have these checks no matter where you plan to live in Canada. And application processing times are longer than through Express Entry. For Express Entry process or PNP online process, there are two ways to apply. You contact the province or territory to and apply for a nomination under an Express Entry stream. If the province or territory agrees to nominate you, you create an Express Entry profile or update your profile if you already have one and show you have been nominated or you create an express entry profile and show the province and territories you are interested in. If a province or territory sends you a notification of interest to your account, uh, you contact them directly. If you apply to their express entry stream. If you're nominated, the province will offer it to you through your account and you accept it electronically. In both cases, you must meet the eligibility requirements of the province or territory and if an express entry candidate meets the PNP's eligibility criteria, the province may send them an invitation to apply for a provincial nomination. The nomination is not the same as an invitation to apply or ITA for permanent residence. Candidates uh, respond to the invitation by applying to the province for a nomination. You must submit an express entry profile and show that you meet the minimum criteria for express entry including being eligible for one of the immigration programs it covers. It means in order to get an enhanced PNP candidates first need to be eligible for one of the express entry managed programs like Federal Skilled Worker Program or Canadian Experience Class or the Federal Skilled Trades Program. If you're invited to apply, you submit an electronic application to IRCC. Express entry candidates who successfully receive a nomination from an enhanced PNP get 600 uh, comprehensive ranking system or CRS points added to their base score, which essentially guarantees they will receive an ITA in a subsequent express entry round of invitations. Generally speaking, PNP eligibility criteria include items relating to work experience, education and language ability, and uh, there are oftentimes also requirements for adequate settlement funds and intent to move to the nominating province. Below this video, there is a list of Canada's PNPs that uh, to be nominated by a province or territory, you need to choose a province or territory that you can meet their criteria and consider 
consider it that the criteria by province and territory vary and can change without notice. You must follow the instructions uh, on their website and uh, contact them directly. You can also subscribe to our channel to see more videos related to immigration to Canada through PNP programs. In the next time, I will make a video for a step by step process on how to apply for a PNP through Express Entry as well as describing PNP programs for each province. So please subscribe to our channel uh, if this is your first time visiting our channel and hit the notification bell to get informed about the new releasing videos streaming by our channel. Thank you for your support and likes and being a subscriber of Persia Global Channel. We value your confidence in our content and videos and sincerely appreciate your time. Hope we met your expectations via the videos of the channel. Please comment and let us know about any specific content that could meet your immigration or relocation case. Make sure you don't miss out on other valuable videos related to immigration, study abroad, and visa acquisition. In this channel, I address many tips and points you can learn from our years of experience to reassure you are doing right or submitting the right documents. To get more, get started by subscribing to our channel from today or contact us to use our services at persiaglobal.net slash contact. Don't forget to hit notification bell and like button below this video. This is Amar Zatavakoli for Persia Global. May God bless you abundantly on your immigration and relocation journey. As always, pin all your hopes always on God. You will never be pinned down by man. I'll see you in the next videos.